much to Well, good afternoon and welcome to Midday Motivation with Milton. I am excited and honored that you decided to spend some of your afternoon with us on today. We talked earlier during our Kingdom Nugget uh, about the four words, and that was thank God for life. Thank him for life. And this afternoon, I want to talk about a robbed focus makes a weak faith. A robbed focus makes a weak faith faith. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 25, Jesus says, therefore, I tell you, don't worry about life, what you shall eat, what you shall drink, uh, what you shall put on your body. And then he asks a question that's rhetorical. Is not life more than food and clothe for your body? Well, what are you saying? He, he tells the disciples to look at the birds of the air. Uh, they don't have a place to stay. Uh, they don't have a roof over their heads. Uh, but their heavenly father clothed them. And then he turns around and he tells them, are you not more or worth more? Do you not have more value than those birds? In other words, he's trying to get them to focus on the right thing because when you're focused, it helps strengthen your faith. But whenever you're out of focus and you start looking at other things and other people and other situations, it can take away from your faith. Can I say this to us? God made us, the word tells us, a little bit more than the angels. So God is not going to create us and not be able to sustain us. If he created you, he has a plan for you in mind. So don't worry about the, the smaller things. They're going to take care of themselves. Be thankful and grateful for the greater gift of life. Here is what I want to share with us. We must determine that God gave me life. And what I have to do in return is give my life back to God by not worrying about things that he's supposed to take care of. Uh, th think about it this way. Have you ever seen a gray headed robin? I mean, think about it. Have you ever seen a bird that was gray? And what I mean by gray is not their natural color, but uh, they're gray from worry. They're gray from stress. I, I believe uh, the answer would be a categorical no, because uh, birds don't worry. You, you, you didn't realize it the last time you dropped some french fries out of the window. Uh, God sent that bird at the right time to be able to swing down and scoop it up. He didn't worry. She didn't worry about where her next meal was coming from, but she was at the right place. He was at the right place so that when I threw those crackers out the window, they could swing down, scoop it up, and get back to where they needed to be. What are you saying, Pastor Ian? They don't worry because they understand that God is responsible for taking care of us. And if birds have that kind of sense, what about you? We're God's prized possession. And my challenge for us today is don't allow your focus to get off, off track because when that happens, the enemy can come in and shift things in our mind. Look at what he says in verse number 28. Why be anxious about clothing? Why be anxious about things that you can't change? Think about this. He's saying God is taking care of things that are lower than you. And if he's taking care of things that are lower than you, what about you and me, his prized possession? Every time you see grass growing, you ought to thank God because you know he's going to take care of you. Every time you see birds flying in the air, you ought to thank God because you know he's going to take care of you. And look at what he says. Can anyone add one cubit to his hair or statue by worry? So, so in other words, if I can't add days to my life, if I can't add hair on my head by worrying, why am I worrying? Sometimes we have to sit back and take a closer inventory. If God got me out of this, he's the same God that can do it again right now. Listen at this. Verse number 28 says, why be anxious? For nothing. Look at the lilies of the field, how they grow. They don't toil or spin. In the original Greek, it says, go and inspect. Jesus is saying lilies have better clothing than Solomon, who was arrayed like nobody else. Here is why. Because they understand that God was taking care of the lilies. And if God can take care of them, he's more than willing and able 
to take care of you and me. So what are you saying, Pastor Ren? Don't focus on small things. Focus on the greater gift, not just life, but the one that gives life. And when you put your focus in the right place, you'll find out that it minimizes stress, it minimizes worry, and it causes you to be thankful to God for not just what he's done, but what he's doing and what he's going to do. I'm challenging you today. Don't worry about things you can't change. You've got a few hours left in the day. Focus on that and try to build the kingdom as best you can. But let's do it one person at a time. I'm Pastor Ren, and until next time, let's keep building the kingdom one person at a time. Let's build. Sing your testimony, Kiki, for every mountain. For every mountain, you 